Hey there, fellows. So check this out. We've got a few cars that just really want to go into battle. They're parked outside and we're not using them. And you might remember how a while back we tried something quite curious. Creating a ridiculous tire imbalance. Which I recall to be pretty hilarious. It's when we poured lead into the tires. The car was doing a dance, springs and mufflers were evacuating, suspension bits and so on. And now we're looking to dial that up to 11 and fill all four tires. I expect things to be much worse this time around, but it's one thing to guess and another to see how it actually goes down. Let's get to it! Fifty kilos of weight at all four wheels, maximum imbalance. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So look here, things seem to be going pretty well. We fired up the oven. Melting is occurring. You would have seen us extracting lead from old batteries. And the molten lead we are immediately pouring into the tires. In order for the material to assume the right shape. Now based on past experience, we know that these slabs can be made separately and then just slipped into each tire. The rubber itself is handling everything beautifully. Apparently rubber burns at a higher temperature than lead melts. So the entire process has proven to be a piece of cake so far. So let's remember how that experiment went down. For now the wheels are carrying weights of about 12 kilos for each side, but just in the rear. I remember it being terrifying, but I guess I'm about to refresh my memory. Let's head out. All right. Right, well, here we go. So while going slow, it was the same that time and now, everything is just fine. I mean, you can sort of hear and feel uh, something moving around in the rear wheels. Yeah, the car is jerking around even. But then that's nothing. This is how we intended to drive. Okay, I'm starting to remember how it went down back then. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. I have been here before, but still. This is starting to get fun. Okay. I'd better go faster. Isn't that something? <laughs> you see what's happening? Doesn't matter if you turn the wheel or not, the car is totally unruly, and everything is falling apart. What's happening out there? That's it? I think your tire's unseated. Yum. Things have gone south, but no big deal. Yeah, it is unseated big time. We need to up the pressure to at least four kilos. Once we do all four wheels, that should be hella fun. 
Let's continue. So the first run saw nothing we hadn't seen before. Same as last time we lost the muffler. Also, the pan and rod bracket almost got torn off. That is also par for the course. And it would seem... As if the bearing inside the axle, the one next to the pinion. It would seem as if something has fallen apart. Because I see a lot of oil. Now, while the car is still able to move, we fitted wheels with weights to the front as well. So each wheel has got an extra 10 plus something kilos of weight added to them, and yum. You saw them big slabs of lead? Anyway, so while the car has still got some life in it, let's fire it up and beat the hell out of it. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, that was to be expected, but... Um, I stalled and that was very gnarly. <laughs> Did the weight evacuate? Holy cow! So it tore the tire? But where did it go through? So this is pretty incredible. That weight we slipped in was able to find its way out of the tire. I guess we're gonna have to fit a regular wheel. What a bummer. So one wheel is now out of the running, but we still have three left, so let's carry on. Take a look at what happened. <laughs> yeah, the car is getting picked apart. Did this one also fall out? Oh yeah, there it is. Apparently it also ripped into the sidewall, uh, and went ahead and abandoned ship. Did you see the windshield? From here it just looks terrific. We had a windshield, and now we don't. It was displaced together with the camera. At first I was like, why is the camera moving? When did they fit a slider? But there's your reason. One more time. We've still got a couple of wheels left, and they are placed diagonally. This is gonna be... The dash is falling apart for crying out loud. One of the tires is flat, but screw it. And here we go. I have no idea what happened, but it must have been super fun to watch the car gallop. What's this now? No, it turns out we had some sort of speaker underneath the seat.
All right, so check this out. This is what the car has lost so far. The panard rod has almost got torn off. There's pretty much nothing holding it in. A shock absorber is gone as well as a spring. Just as you'd expect. Things are going just as they should. With the exception of losing the windshield, of course. Also, we lost a camera, but hey, it is what it is. We can live with that. But the car is still happy to drive. Even though it is missing a spring. It was bucking and it seemed to have even... Gotten a rhythm going, I guess. From where I was sitting, it felt as if the car was jumping up and down in a sort of synchronized fashion. With all four wheels. But it still drives, so... I elect to continue beating on it. And here we go. We've gone the distance. Guys, where are you going? So after 175 meters, it still hasn't totally fallen apart. Though I did lose my cab. Don't drive over my cab, okay? I'm gonna keep on going. That looks like the exhaust over there. This car is no longer running one. The sun visor anyway, let's go for it. Oh, holy cow. Look at what else was in here. Where is all of this coming from? Collectors... what does this say? Oh, recommendations for Zerulium magazine. And it materialized from somewhere inside the car. So a speaker popped out of nowhere, a booklet... Yeah, it looks tired. But this was fun! With those wheels fitted up front. That have the lead inside of them. Yeah, the car drives well, I mean to say it jumps in a totally different way. Not like when we had them just in the back. This was fun, but the right side looks really bad. The rear end has collapsed, but what can you do? No surprises, really. That might be why we have an oil leak. The casing got warped, and that was a wrap. 10 kilos of lead will do that to you. It really did a number on this car. Yeah, the car has taken an ass whooping. But then we'll take it in for the night, do a bit of work on it, and by morning it'll be good as new. Alright guys, well... This jumped around wonderfully, and I was expecting the ball joints to let go. Amazingly, they held up, which tells us that those are high quality parts. And also... In conclusion, I'd like to say... Balance your wheels, guys, don't let things come to this. If you lose control, regaining it is going to be a serious problem. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. What are you laughing at? You should have seen yourself driving. Well, I can imagine the face I made. To be honest, I was quite flabbergasted. Wait till you see the video.